up you guys it's Adonis so I wanted to talk to you guys today about CAQs mock exams and end of rotation exams so if you are a PA student or a PA or even a pre PA student because you just like watching this channel uh, this video is for you so let's get into the video right now What's up you guys, this is Adana, welcome back to my channel. So like I said, we're gonna be talking about exams. I know nobody wants to talk about exams, but we have to do it. This summer time is very much like a fluid and flux, like everything is in transition. So you have students that are coming in as brand new baby PAs, the students, right, your PASs, and then you have students that are going into their clinical rotations and students that are graduating in like a month or two months and are about to take their boards. And so exams is kind of on everybody's mind because I know when I was a brand new student, I was like, oh my gosh, like my first exam in PA school is coming up. I don't know what to expect. I'm so nervous. But it is something that you kind of have to like keep in mind and you're just always like in flux about. And so, and it's even the same thing with your clinical rotations because even though you're kind of a big girl PA student at that point you know you have your re a regular schedule as like a PA would have you're not in school studying every day you will have an end of rotation exam at the end of that rotation that you should have been studying for and so I wanted to just kind of pinpoint and touch on some resources out there for you to help with your studying so you know I love me some rush for you guys um um, and Ross Review has been a benefit to me throughout my PA career. And I don't know if I want to get like a CAQ in anything. It's just a certificate of additional um, qualification. But there are CAQs for like PEDS, for emergency medicine, for hospital medicine. Um, I think there's even a CAQ for like cardio thoracic um, surgery and so when you're doing the CAQ they're, they're, the tests are administered through NCCPA which is our certifying body for the physician assistant career so it's administered through them uh, and it's offered during like different times of the year so the fall administration session is from September 11th through the 16th however the deadline is September 14th the deadline for you to apply so if you're trying to apply for one of these CAQs um, I suggest you do that now but Ross Review has CAQ exam questions for you uh, they have like over a thousand like up to 2,000 NCCPA style questions so if you're trying to study get used to how these questions are asked and then just used to the content and the subject matter then definitely check Ross review out and their CAQ um, out because it will only be a benefit to you because you're gonna just kind of be familiar and not be scared when the day comes okay so I wanted to touch on that just for anybody that is thinking of getting a CAQ but I really wanted to talk to you guys today about end of rotation exams so end of rotation exams are kind of like you know they're like that that thing that sneaks up on you because you've been going through your rotations you've been having a good time you know you've been like out with friends you actually have time to like enjoy life after spending like a year in prison <laughs> called didactic year of PA school but there is no need for you to panic because Ross Review has end of rotation exams and mock exams for you so and these are like separate from the QBank so I know like some of you are like oh Donna oh my gosh like what like what, what new information am I going to learn from this if I already have access to the QBank? And you're going to learn a lot of new information because there are like 120 questions that are separate from the QBank that you haven't even seen before. So that is going to be a benefit and you can go over those questions over and over again once you've taken the, the first like mock exam. So it is a benefit. I used it when I was studying for my boards. I used it as like um, kind of like a mock exam in that particular section just to see if I grasped this the, the subject matter and I grasped the content really well and it was actually pretty beneficial in conjunction with some of the other resources that I was using um, I know that they have like these mock slash end of rotation exams for pretty much all of the 
the general primary rotations that you're going to be in so like your emergency medicine internal medicine family medicine right your peds your psych and of course your women's health and honestly like as a women's health preceptor if you did not know i am the women's health preceptor um i see a lot of students come in and i do ask them questions i ask them like you know things that like big ticket item things that we're looking for in that particular specialty and i want to make sure that they know like what they're talking about right like they know like what to look for when i send them to a consult and then like come with them after and i'm like okay like what questions were asked did you ask the pertinent things and so it is very very beneficial i think if you are a pa student and you're going into your rotations it is probably one of the best things you can do is to purchase one of these exams because it's not only going to help you like when it comes time for your end of rotation exam but it's going to help you on your rotation so if you see something if we're using like a particular antibiotic or if we're you we're like calling this thing a particular disease process you understand why okay so if you haven't already done so go on over to rosterview.com and look at and check out their caqs and their mock exams and their end of rotation exams you guys because it's only going to be a benefit to you and you know i want to come and give you things that are going to help you thrive and succeed not only as a pa student but as a full-blown PA. All right, if you guys have any other questions for me, leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at on the PA and on Instagram at Get That CU University. And don't forget to follow Ross Review on Instagram as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time.